mouse. That's right. Those cute little little squeaky guys that run around and destroy your garden. Well, today we're going to focus on them and how to keep them out of here. Get out of here. All right, starting off with number one, we're going to make it spicy. That's right. I'm a little crazy because squirrels make me crazy. But you know what squirrels don't like? They don't like capsaicin because they're mammals and it's irritating. So you can sprinkle some chili powder, cayenne is really nice, or your spicy sauce that you like. You can make your own, or you can get right to it and just grow some really super spicy peppers right next to the vegetables or plants that your squirrels seem to like to bother the most. You'll get a good whiff of those capsaicin emitting plants and go, nope, I'm out of here. The problem that I've had with this is, yes, it has worked, and yes, I have used it, but rain and wind can just kind of wash that away, so you will have to reapply. Number two, take cover. And by that, I mean literally cover it up. Our original raised garden bed that my dad helped us build is turned into a Mad Max-style Thunderdome cage of insanity. Welcome to another edition of Thunderdome! Why? Because of squirrels. That's why. So it is completely and entirely closed with fine mesh chicken wire because the fine mesh plastic covering that I had initially, the squirrels simply chewed through. So you want to use a material that is squirrel resistant, at least as long as you can hope it can be. Number three, imposters. What am I talking about? critters that make squirrels go eek, like owls and snakes. You can get fun with it and put all sorts of crazy stuff in your garden. People will think you're insane. You can have conversations with them. It is fun for the whole family. <coughs> Number four, motion. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. That's right. I have all sorts of madness in my garden as well as my head. And that is including spinning wheels that are motion detected uh, by the wind because I'm cheap. So I just go to the dollar store and I find those little pinwheels, particularly the ones that are nice and sparkly, and I cram those into my garden. So that way each time a breeze comes, sparkling chaos goes and the squirrels are like, whoa, I'm not going there. Number five, plant some alliums. Did you know that there are so many plants in the allium family? I always thought alliums as onions, or my favorite, garlic. But no, tulips, lots of the bulb plants, flowering or otherwise, are in the allium family. So do a quick Google Foo, find out what your favorite allium plant is, and plant that in your garden. The smell will repel the squirrels. Number six, peppermint oil. Ta-da! This is my favorite application of peppermint oil because it is also a natural soap. So not only can I repel squirrels with its beautiful aroma, but I can also get rid of bugs too. It's a two for one. Go team! My final suggestion is number seven, and that's spray. You can create your own spray with apple cider vinegar. And you can reuse that peppermint oil along with the apple cider vinegar, giving you an extra potent aromatic spray that you can just spray all over the place and make it extra stinky so that the squirrels won't want to come to visit your garden and cause chaos. Have you tried other things to keep squirrels out of your garden and found them to be successful? Please share them with us in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on Plant Life.